Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name, as always, is Hixie Dust, and welcome back to another Madden playthrough. If you look up at the top scroller, you'll see we're on week three against the San Francisco 49ers at home. Uh, week two, we managed to win. We managed to pull out a win against the Chicago Bears. It was a sloppy game, but we still managed to come out with the win. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to upload that footage. Something happened during the process where it didn't save or... When it saved, it got corrupted, so unfortunately, mm -hmm. I we're just going to pick up at week three. Uh, you can see James Bradbury was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He had nine tackles, two interceptions, and ran one of them back for a touchdown. So we also have our Players Ready to Negotiate tab, which has popped up for week three as we now have players who are ready to discuss their future contracts. Just Dalvin Tomlinson and Leonard Williams right now, but I'm going to hold off. I usually like to wait until the end of the season to do so because it gives us a better grasp on our cap size. So if we sign big contracts for the first two people who are ready, we might not have enough money to spread out for the remainder. So it's best to really wait until you have almost all your players ready to negotiate that way you know who's getting what kind of deal and how much money you really have to spread around um, also between weeks two and three we were able to work out a deal with Sean Lee to help upgrade our linebacker core and we were also able to get a deal done with Alan Lazard for some reason Green Bay let him go so I managed to pick him up and put him in my receiver core um, other than that we are now starting to scout college players for the next season uh, I downloaded a draft class which somebody had made online. Unfortunately, I had to edit some of the names because some of the names were flagged as being inappropriate. Pen Pen A Suell being one of the um, one of them. So I had to shorten his name because for whatever reason it wouldn't accept his first name. So there'll be a couple players in this draft who are like that, but for the most part, we should be pretty good. So let's just jump into the game for now. For some real NFL news, we had J.J. Watt from the Houston Texans who was released, a veteran player on their defense. A shocking move in my opinion. I figured he would be somebody who would retire with that team. I never would imagine anybody cutting J.J. Watt. Um, but then again, that team is in a bit of an overhaul, so maybe they figured they can save some money by not re-signing J.J. Watt. Uh, so on the smaller scale, you had Alex Tanney, one of the quarterbacks on the New York Giants, retiring and getting into coaching. So he's retiring from playing, but he's coaching with the Philadelphia Eagles. Today, from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, it's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. An early season tilt, and when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet, and both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. On the other side of the field for the visiting 49ers, and I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up, 
and ready to play. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They're led out by their quarterback in his seventh season now from Eastern Illinois. It's Jimmy Garoppolo. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He was know? a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurately. One touchdown pass. They didn't you know, break the bank doing that, but he did throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that doesn't put them in bad situations. Kendrick Bourne, the intended receiver. And it's second down. I had no idea who was trying to throw through on that one. A first carry for the former Falcon, okay. Tevin Coleman. And this Giants defense getting off the ball quickly. They stop him behind the line again. It'll go as a loss of Let's see if we can keep it. Let's see if we can uh, hold them here. Trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 13 yards there and a Niner first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Garoppolo on first down. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. First down, San Francisco. First carry for Raheem Mostert. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The ball carrier. North of 100 yards, the two scores. And, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to the O-line. We talked a lot about him, but offensive line was good, too. They're obviously in sync with each other, whether it's zone blocking, power running game, no matter what. He understands how to read them and find the creases that they provide. Savior McKinney. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, and they're gonna there get you him. go. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16 yard line. That might breathe the some life into my defense. Dalvin Tomlinson. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Garoppolo gonna give to Mostert. And he'll okay. get four there down to about the 12 yard line. Quite a help to hold him here to just three points. We'll see if we can get a stop here. Third and ten. And that last run, they just come right through him. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. Yes. Credit the Giants defense that time. Dalvin Tomlinson getting it down to him down. one more time. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. I think maybe that tucker will be in gone. Makes defenses a lot better. Yes, indeed. That time lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Makes the score. Niners three. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. Okay. It has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. So now here are the Giants as they'll get their first opportunity here. Under center, it'll be the former UCLA Bruin, Josh Rosen. And what a performance in his last game. A couple of touchdown passes, that was positive. But more than two interceptions. Yeah, that's not what he's looking for. What did Vince Lombardi say, though? Winning isn't everything. It's the only thing. And that's what he legs his hat on after last week's game. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 15 carries, 93 yards. And they love what they've got in him. He's the number four rusher in the league right now, so you know that you have to account for him on defense, which means you can play complimentary football as well. Throw the play action, get it out to the wide receivers, because they should have some open space, because the defense will key on them. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. A give to Barkley out of the gun. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And down right around the 37. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Now a man open down the middle of the field and brought down, but not before they're inside. 
up the 25. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Barkley. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Stop made by Fred Warner, who was the Niners' leading tackler during their run to the Super Bowl last year. Second and eight at the 20-yard line. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. Almost. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And this is caught. Nice. Very nice. Take it on in for a giant touchdown. Giant. Taylor Gabriel, his second touchdown on the season. And the Giants have taken the lead. And this is up and good seven plays. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Graham Gano set to kick off. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Yard line. Ready to get this next drive started. Right. The New York offense at the line. And they Held them on the first one. Last time that they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them. Settling. They probably should have. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by the rookie Xavier McKinney. Xavier McKinney. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running... And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Darius Slayton, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Ready to get this next drive started. The New York offense at the line. Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The tackle made by Blake Martinez. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read. Two rushing plays, no yards. On that one, he looked like one of those guys. It's a gain of a yard. And it's third down. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. Yeah, that's probably going to be a rough, roughing the passer. The this might be a roughing call. Once that camera angle switches, it is so hard to stop. If you're going for the quarterback, that is such a hard penalty to avoid. If you try, if once that camera angle snaps, to be aggressive, but they want him to be smart as well. Have to leave the quarterback alone at a certain point. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Oh, six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. 46 yard line. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll be brought down at the 48 yard line. To George Kittle. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes 
You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him. See, I was afraid I was going to get another one there. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 30. As soon as that camera angle snaps. First down, San Francisco. The pick up 14 yards. And yet again, it's Garoppolo over the middle to Kittle, complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. It seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Garoppolo to his tight end, Kittle for a Niner first down. It's Coleman here. Now a loose football. Coleman lost Oof. it. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Dalvin Tomlinson making another big play. Following the fumble recovery, it's Rosen. Uh. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. The linebacker Fred Warner right there on the coverage. Second and ten. Second and ten, it's Rosen again. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Now a timeout called for by the offense. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Now we're going to get the ball back after half, but let's see if we can add on some more points here before we get the ball back. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Four yards. A good pickup there. 26 yards. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great, and they're fun. They're becoming a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are, and I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing, but I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. Open man, Taylor Gabriel, and he's got this down to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Oof. The pass is intercepted. He was looking for Ingram. Picked off by the four. I thought I'd given that Jimmy enough Ward. over the shoulder. The turnover bug last week, three interceptions. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote unquote go away. And that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback and then no one plays well. And this time they'll just keep this on the ground. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. So we have reached halftime here in an 11 point. And we will skip the highlight show this week. Get right back to this week three matchup. Robbie Gold to kick off for second. second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. At their own 31 yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they wanted. Put it mildly, that is so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in a good spot, great place to run some of your best offense. Instead, they turn the ball over. And turn the ball over last time. See if they can avoid doing it here. And this will be a Giants first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. A gain of five, good enough for the first down.
They'll run with Barkley. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. It's a loss of two. Sometimes I think cornerbacks can benefit from the fact that quarterbacks might just forget about the idea that they might be near the line of scrimmage. How about the anticipation there sneaking in and making a big play in the backfield? No. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 42. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. On second down now, it's Coleman, and he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. It's a gain of a yard. And it's third down. Garoppolo now. He's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. And he somehow like, he manages to get that out right before he's sacked. They're able to get the third down conversion. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. Looking to throw. Garoppolo gets this one left side to Pettis. A gain of six there on first. Complete. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Six. Brings up second and four at the 35. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 23. A gain of 12. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. Seven yards, the pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. George Kittle is easily one of the elite tight ends in the NFL. Back-to-back -back seasons of 88 and 85 catches. We just saw another one right there. Anytime he lines up on the field, you better treat him as a primary receiver and make sure you have a second guy in the vicinity to try and cover it. Back now here at MetLife State. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. And the 49ers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Dante Pettis, his second touchdown on the season. And the 49ers are back within a score. First and goal, forget running the football, forget establishing anything. And he's going to be dropped back in the 15-yard line. The score. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you try and throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 29 yard line. All right, last quarter, we have the lead. No need to force anything. We could just... And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more That's probably a holding penalty on someone on the offensive line. I think you're going to bring this back. Of course, you know, because why wouldn't we just run this game out? Now we're at first and 18. How they attack them here. Oh boy, see what we can do to get this back. From the gun, it's Rosen. 
Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. Rosen's pass. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. At the 25-yard line. Now Rosen looking to throw. Are you serious? This. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Jones. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. There was... So now he's equaled his interception total from a week ago. Remember, Charles, he had three last week. And you know, all week long, he vowed to take that number down. Told the guys on the team, don't worry, things are going to pick up. I've got this. But he is in a major league rut right now. Let's see if his teammates can pick him up along the way. You're right. He talked about being cool, calm, collective, rebounding. Not rebounding right here. The only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown. Peppers should have made that. Oh. Debo Samuel. Let's hope this is in our favor. Ruling on the field is upheld. They're going to go for two. All right, now what can the Niners do as they face a big two-point conversion here? To throw, it's Garoppolo. They shake him up. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. <laughs> now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Who? We'll I guess Dexter Lawrence. That's who they were after the focusing in on. Gold now to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. Yeah. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Josh Rosen and company getting set for their next possession. And the interception that ended their previous drive, that might be one we look back on and say that was the turning point of this game. Hey, partner, guess what? There's still time for a few more turning points in this ball game. They're only one score down. Yeah, true. We could have some twists and turns. Stay tuned. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. Well, that's what I wanted on last drive, but... That one good <laughs> you know, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Terry will not now be able to Great. He might be out for a couple weeks. Play. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Yeah, this will be a Giants first down. Only need, only need a field goal to take the lead in this game again. Good enough for the first down. Now it's Barkley. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Nice Broken ribs. That's, yeah. Great. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And Barkley Ooh. did not get there. They end up getting stubbed twice after that. I can't not go for it, unfortunately. Down. This late in the game, Charles. I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And yes, everyone, that was the fullback carrying the football. I know it's a dying breed. It's a dying position for a lot of people, but I still think it's valuable and important, especially one who can carry the ball. And you need short yardage. What makes sense? Go to a big body, let him plow forward just like he did there. It's still a big man's game. This is why I hate the RPO plays. It's almost impossible not to get a penalty on him. I got the ball out right Too away, and field, something those now we have a penalty. Watch out for that time it cost him. Let's see what we can do here. They'll throw it with Rosen. Out to the right here to Shepard, and he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Josh Rosen. 
That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. Ooh. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Okay. So officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. He's taken out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Now a carry from the shifty Deion Lewis. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Intended for Darius Slayton. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Makes the score Giants seven. Big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they score too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. Ready to get this next drive started. The New York offense at the line. They're only in need of a field goal. A decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they this all the time. Oh, they it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. Now a desperation throw. And that's caught inside the 30. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. A play fake from Mostert. Now Garoppolo. And he can't. Oh, somebody would have grabbed that. That would have been the game. Instead, second down. Second down and ten. Garoppolo to throw. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. And he's across for the oh, touchdown. No. And it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Touchdown. How many people watching this one right here gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> what it looks like is going to be the game deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. San Francisco. Fielded right around the eight. And he gets it to the 30-yard line, but the football's not going to stay there. There's a penalty marker down. Are you serious, guys? So holding they are not making it easy. Some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving I got to try and march it all the way down if I want to try and win this game. Let's see what we can come up with. He throws there incomplete. Incomplete. Intended for Taylor Gabriel. Brings up second and ten at the 20 yard line. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Throwing now is Rosen. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. Complete. Brings up third down and ten. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. One final shot here for Rosen. And, it's and that's it, guys. So Unfortunately, we didn't win this one.
Charles, this one's going to be hard to digest. You take the lead into the fourth quarter, lose that lead. Maybe they felt like they let this one slip away a little bit. They will definitely feel like that because when you have a lead in the fourth quarter, all you talk about doing is finishing and closing a game out. But when you flip it over, how about that? Making the comeback and then finishing the game, sealing it on defense, they will feel jubilant in their locker room. So for the Niners, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll return home next week to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Meanwhile, for the Giants, they suffer defeat for the first time as they drop to 2-1. And, and they'll look to regroup next week as they head to L.A. to take on the Rams. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody. All right, guys, thank you for sticking through it with this one. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win in this game. We have to look at some things with the quarterback. I've been throwing too many interceptions in these past two games. Um, if you like the video, hit that like and subscribe button. I know it's not a perfect season, but it is an honest season. Um, tune in next time for more Hixie Does content, and we'll see you again soon.